here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 Mambo loves cleaning houses. And every now and then, she cleans the Moomin house. She says it's to thank Moomin Mama for taking care of little Mai, but we suspect it's because she likes doing it. Oh, thank you, Mambo. I enjoy it. No need to thank me. Nothing looks nicer than a clean house. Goodness. You'll make a good wife someday. The wives I know never have enough time for cleaning. Oh, I don't know. It's not so bad. You've just got to find Mr. Wright. Do you have anyone special in mind? Well... Here's one of them now coming towards the door. Do it, do it. Who is it, little Mai? Oh, the inspector. Hello, little Mai. Someone said your sister was here. So you came all this way to see her? You must be in love with her. Don't be so silly. I've come to do my duty as a police inspector. That's my job, and I need to see her. Oh, if you come to arrest her, she's right in here. No, 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 no. Can I just see her, please? Good day. Why do you want to see Mumble, Inspector? Well, I'll just show you. Here it is. What? Oh. No, uh, that's not it. Uh, uh, now, uh, hang on. Uh, one minute. Uh, uh, now then. Uh, uh, ah, here it is. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yep, this is what I was looking for. Oh, that's the ring I found and brought down to you at the station. That's right. And six months have passed since you brought it in to us. Even though we kept it all that time, not a single soul has been in to claim it. That means it now belongs to you, Mumble. Oh, I can't believe it. Is this diamond mine? Yes, that's the law. Inspector, dear. What is it, Mama? You look just like a happily engaged couple. <clears throat> well, here you are. Oh. Ah, oh, look, the inspector's blushing. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Wow, what a beautiful diamond. What are you doing? Sniff, wait a minute. Let me see that diamond. My goodness, it certainly is a very big diamond. Isn't it just glass? Of course not. Glass doesn't glitter <laughs> like that. <laughs> How about asking the snort to look at it? He'll know for certain if it's a genuine diamond. Do that. Please. Obviously glass, I'm afraid. On the one hand, I don't want to disappoint Mumble, but maybe one shouldn't hide the truth. She'll be here now any minute. Is it a real diamond? Well? Now here's the test. Glass cannot cut glass, that's a fact. Diamond, on the other hand, can because it's harder.
It's very big, 50 carat. It's real. Yippee! I've got a real diamond, and it all belongs to me. <laughs> oh. This looks just like glass to you and me, but actually it's plastic, which can be cut by glass. Hey, Mumbo, are you going to wear it all the time? With a diamond like this, you want to show it off all the time. I want to make sure everyone sees it. Mumbo! Good afternoon, Mr. Hamulan. Mumbo, how nice to see you. What's the matter with your hand? Oh, can't you see what it is? Of course I can. It looks as if you've hurt your finger. Mm. Look carefully. It's a ring. Can't you see it glittering? Oh, I see what you mean. Of course I can see it. But as you know, I specialize in plants. I know very little about rings. It's a 50 carat diamond. A diamond, is that what it is? In other words, it's a stone. Mm. So it's true what they say about specialists. They're all boring. Good afternoon, dear Snuffcan. Why, hello, my dear Mumble. Huh? Mumble, you went and did it, didn't you? I went and did what, Snuffcan? That ring? You got married since the last time I saw you. Is that what you think? Mm. At least you noticed I was wearing the ring. It's a genuine diamond, you know. Well, yes, I did notice it. Mm. I've been told it's a 50 carat diamond, you see, and of course it's extremely valuable. Want to take a closer look? Yes, thank you. It's nice. Oh. If I close my eyes, I'll be able to see it. I'll never forget it. Thank you for showing it to me. It's nice. It's very beautiful indeed. Men don't understand the finer things in life. Everyone knows that. I'll go and show it to Mrs. Philly Junk. Mrs. Philly Jonk, are you at home? Hey, look at that latest ring! That's a biggie! It's a wow. diamond! I can see it glittering! Mama, there's a lady here and she's wearing a diamond ring! It's bigger than the one you're wearing! Bigger than this? Oh, yes, it's enormous! Why, Mumble, it's you. Good afternoon. I was just passing by your house, so I thought I'd stop for a little chat. Lovely to see you. Come in for a cup of tea. Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Philly Jog. Here you are, dear. Oh, the aroma. So pleasant. Mumble, that stone on your finger is very large. Ah, oh yes, you must mean my diamond. It's a 50 carat, you know. Mmm, it's very beautiful. But Mumble. But what? What is it? Mmm, well, you see, some people think large diamonds are rather pretentious and vulgar. You don't think it's vulgar, do you? It's very beautiful, Mumble. It's fit for a duchess, but you're not a duchess, are you? You see, my dear, it doesn't go with your dress. Don't misunderstand me. I'm thinking of what's best for you. Yes, good advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the tea. Now, don't worry about what I said. No. Bye, Mrs. Philly Jonk. My diamond is just as good as hers any day. Some people think an enormous diamond makes them important. My old dress does not enhance my diamond. Mrs. Philly Jonk was right. Wow! 
What are you doing, Mumble? Admiring herself in the mirror. She's got a diamond, remember? I have to get a dress that goes with a diamond. A dress that's fit for a duchess. But you're not a duchess, you're Mumble. A dress fit for a duchess? Oh, I don't know. I do have some silk aprons for parties, but... Uh... Please, you must have something. Let me see. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Mama. I don't think you really understood me, Mumble. I think you took me too literally, dear. Well, what did you mean then? The dress is fine, but the material is certainly odd and the cut well. There's something else I should be doing? Mumble, if you're wearing a big diamond, your whole life should go with a diamond. What do you mean? Now, you certainly have quite a nice house, and it's very clean, but it's hardly a mansion. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, dear, I'm only trying to help, you know, but I've never seen a house like that in Moomin Valley. Why don't you keep the diamond in its box? This could be interesting. <laughs> Hello, Mumbo! Oh. <laughs> Is that you, Stinky? And what, may I ask, are you doing around here? I want to talk to you about that diamond we've all heard so much about. Oh. I know a house which would be just right for the owner of a diamond ring. Oh. It's deep inside this wood, and lucky for you, it's abandoned. I guess anyone could move in there. Stinky, it's very dark here. Don't worry about it. You can see why I'm the only one who knows about it. Let's go inside and have a look. Oh. Here we are. Goodness, it's so old, it's falling down. That's true, but it's also very grand. Just what you need if you own a diamond. Look at that mantelpiece. They don't make them like that nowadays. Guess not. Philly junk will be green with envy. Just think about it. I give you the whole house. Thank you, Stinky. Oh, guess the mantelpiece is the only fine thing here. The rest just seems to be crumbling. Little Mai could help. Why did you have to find that ring? That's just indeed. I never fancy wallpapering a whole mansion. It's a lot of work if you ask me. <laughs> Yes, but when it's all finished, it'll be worth it. Oh, you may want a 50-carat life mumble, but I'm not all sure I Little do. Little as a reward for helping me, you can wear the ring on Monday. But it would fall off my finger. Wear it on a chain around your neck. I'd rather not cut this grass. Goodness, I certainly never knew about this house. It's a real mansion. This is a house fit for a duchess. It's so big, you could easily get lost in it. Yes, that's true. It's certainly too big for little Mai and me. I'll move in. I love this sort of house. No, you won't. Gracious living isn't suitable for the likes of you. Yes, it is. I love kings and stuff. Well, they certainly don't love you. Oh, stop quarreling, you two. Manners, please. Right, this is it. The beautiful palace. We've arrived. Oh. Mumble and little Mai live in there. Mama, this looks like a house where a duchess should live. Mama, listen. But this is too impossible. <laughs> Stop washing up, Mumble. You have a guest. Eh? Oh, good morning, Mumble. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Philly John. How kind of you to come all the way to see me in my new home. A very spacious kitchen, indeed. Everything is. 
But I see you're washing dishes yourself, Mumbo. Yes, we just had lunch. I always wash the dishes after lunch. I know that, but duchesses don't wash up. They mustn't get their hands wet. Oh, I see. If you insist on wearing that very large diamond all the time, you'll just have to live accordingly like a duchess. But how do I do that, Mrs. Phillyjump? Get yourself a maid. A maid? A maid? But I enjoy cleaning my own house. Fiddle faddle. Duchesses aren't supposed to enjoy. They're supposed to sit down and give the orders. A maid is absolutely essential for a duchess. Mumble! Hello there! Oh, hello, Moomin and Snork Maiden. What's wrong, Mumble? You look very depressed. The maid arrived this morning. The maid? Well, isn't she any good at doing the cleaning, then? Yes, she's very good indeed, and there's absolutely nothing left for me to do. <coughs> Mumble's right. The maid seems very capable. done those dishes. It's not Madam's responsibility. It's maid's work. I know that. I just had this inexplicable urge to clean something. So you believe that my cleaning isn't satisfactory? No, no. That isn't it at all. In fact, they've never been so clean. I just couldn't sleep with nothing left for me to do. I understand, Madam. I can see that my work isn't appreciated. I know when I'm not wanted. Good night. I shall leave in the morning. Oh, but you don't understand. <laughs> I'm really starting to get very worried about Mumble. Poor thing, she doesn't seem herself anymore. It's all the fault of that idiotic diamond she found. She should never have had it back. It would be a blessing if she could lose it again. Maybe I should steal it from her. I don't think we could do that, little mine. But mind. what are we going to do? Goodbye, madam. Hey, Mumble, where's your maid going? She's left, Stinky. Listen, my dear, I've heard them talking about stealing your diamond ring. What did you hear? I'm no tittle-tattle, I can't tell you. Oh, why? I must hide it in a place where no one will think of looking for it. This looks like a good place. Hmm. I'll plant some flowers to mark the spot. Oh, there's Snufkin! Gee, Snufkin, what are you doing here? Hmm, picking mushrooms. Snufkin! Hello, everyone. Where are you all going? To see Mumble, who's feeling very low. It certainly was a sad day when she found that 50-carat enormous diamond. To tell you the truth, it isn't a diamond. I just said that to please Mumble. It's made of glass. I can see now that I did quite the wrong thing, though. Come on, everyone. Let's go and see her. <laughs> oh, Mumble, why are you crying? <laughs> Little my, my diamond has been stolen. Mumble, don't cry. You're better off without it. A 
And anyway, the diamond was made of plain glass. Oh, dear, I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have lied to you. Nonsense. You're lying, aren't you? Just to comfort me. I know you are. That's not true. The plate of glass I cut was actually a plastic plate, Mumble. Let me have it and I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. But I can't give it to you. It's been stolen. Oh, dear, then I can't prove it after all. Yes, you can prove it. I have it here. Mm-hmm. Look. Oh, my diamond, Snuffkin. You stole it from the tree. I hid it in the hole in that tree over there. I just found it right there on the ground in the middle of the grass. There's the thief. Come on out. I know you're in there. Changed my mind. It's all right, everybody. I believe what the snork said. Are you I'm sure it's all right? Let the woodpecker have it. Without the ring, I shall feel. I shall feel that I'm myself again. What are you doing with that diamond? Is that Mumble's ring? Stop! Stop! Let me have a look at it! Come here! And so Mumble moved out from the leaky mansion and put her old comfortable dress back on.